Okay, so evening guys, welcome to another review from the British Berserker, me, Matt. Hope you're having a fantastic weekend, wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to, whatever you're doing out there. It's been an interesting day so far, I've had to get the windscreen replaced on the car, a bloody stone hit it, it was cracked across and everything else like that. But all in all, not too bad a weekend, but I really hope that each and every one of you guys out there is having a fantastic weekend and enjoying the weather, beautiful hot sunny day out there, and I have another review for you. Now before we start, yes, we're back in my review room with all my beard oils and bits and pieces and everything that I've reviewed over the year. And first of all, I say this in each and every one of my reviews and videos that I do, but I would like to say for myself a huge, massive, massive thank you to each and every one out there that's liking my videos, commenting on them, subscribing to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button because what I've set over set up over there on Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and on here the Bearded Berserker is basically about me trying to help and support small brands, small businesses, small companies, individuals and craftsmen out there that are making some amazing, amazing products. I don't have a problem per se with these huge massive brands, but I tend to find that people buy from these massive brands and the massive brands sell stuff just because of their name and not actually what they're producing. As long as it's got their sticker on it, it doesn't really matter so, about, so much about quality because they know that someone out there is going to buy it because of their name and everything. Whereas these small brands out there that kind of come up with these ideas, whether it's clothing, beard products, jewellery and all sorts of crafts and all sorts of bits and pieces, they have to work infinitely harder to try and get their products out there on the market, coming into competition with these huge massive faceless brands that kind of like a lot of the time are bringing out sort of soulless products if you know what I mean and so I'm here trying to show you guys that there is an alternative out there and we really need to get behind these small brands and craftsmen out there whether you're in the US whether you're in Europe wherever you are around the world we've all got our all sort of our small brand alternatives and everything and we really really need to support them in what they're doing because otherwise they're just going to give up and go what was the point in that and all we're going to be left with are these huge massive brands and especially with crafts and stuff like that it is a dying art because everything nowadays is mass produced and we need them to carry on and to pass down to their kids and everything else like that so it continues going now also before we start at the end of june which we are in i'm doing a live unboxing and review and at the same point i'm going to be doing a giveaway as well now, in order to be in with a chance of winning on the giveaway, you do need to have subscribed to the channel. All the numbers, basically, I don't know how many so far, 200 odd, are going to go into a generator and I'll draw one name and whoever wins it, wins it. And so, but you do need to be subscribed to the channel in order to win it. Now, I have a different review. I've never done a book review before and I've been very fortunate enough. Thank you very much. Uh, for the guys that have sent the book through for me to review. Now with all the reviews that I do on my channel, whatever it is, I'm completely unbiased. If something gets sent through or I go out and buy something and it falls apart, I'm gonna tell you it falls apart. I'm not here BSing anything, you know? I'm sick and tired of these channels where, I'm not saying every channel and every viewer and stuff like that, but there are a lot out there now. I was reading another article on it uh, yesterday, funny enough, yesterday evening, that there are so many people out there now that are getting these reviews through and being paid to do reviews and stuff like that and giving fantastic scores and they shouldn't be getting these scores and apparently it's quite a big thing now and sort of scams and stuff like that. People saying they're doing reviews and stuff's being sent through or whatever and they're not bothering and just pinching the stuff. Whereas it really, pardon, I nearly swore then, but it really annoys me when I'm sitting here, I don't work a full-time job, um, I've got a wife out there and two dogs and everything. I work full time and I'm doing this off my own back, trying to help and support small brands out there. And there's people, pardon the expression, but taking the piss, which I get annoyed when I message a brand or something like that and they get in touch and go, no, nah, not interested. Uh, we've been conned before. And it's like, well, I'm not here to con anybody. I've never have been. It's not what this is about. It's purely trying to help and support them. 
And also I'm getting a bit tired of um, people that are not interested because, oh, you haven't got X amount of followers or subscribers and stuff like that. And to be honest, what does it matter? Because you can buy followers, you can buy YouTube views, YouTube subscribers and stuff like that. So just because you got half a million bloody YouTube views or whatever, you could have bought them. So it makes no not it annoys me that you're not judged on your content and what you're putting out and stuff like that you're being judged by how many numbers you've got so i'll tell you what if i go out and buy a million instagram followers or three thousand subscribers on youtube it'll be fine because that means i'm doing my job properly and that is complete utter bullshit and it really gets on my nerves but anyway enough of that so this is all the reviews I do, completely unbiased. Everything I do is my own honest opinion. I'm not affiliated to any of these brands whatsoever. Just giving you my personal opinions on products because I, there's nothing worse as a consumer going out and spending cash. Your product comes soon. It just doesn't live up to expectations. But like I said, I have a book review to do. Now, uh, first book I've read in years, to be honest with you, um, I wouldn't say I'm not a massive reader, I used to, but then I don't have enough time in the day nowadays uh, to read and stuff. But this is basically God's Own County. And this is a heathen prayer book by Dan Kultas and the Heathens of Yorkshire, uh, which is a place in the UK, if, if you don't know that, if you live somewhere else. And basically, it was very interesting because, like I say, I'm not... A particularly religious person I don't say religion's bad or anything like that my views tend to be that I if I need something tangible if you know what I mean to believe in and I believe that with especially my day job of teaching kids about um, beach conservation and stuff like that and marine conservation and sort of like helping animals and stuff like that that if we help nature, nature kind of helps us back. So I'm kind of heathen paganistic, if you know what I mean. I don't necessarily believe in a tangible God, Christianity and stuff like that. I'm not what I'd call atheist either. Um, but I tend to go more... I would love to have my own little place in the middle of nowhere, be completely self-sufficient, grow my own stuff and kind of live in harmony. That's kind of like what I would love to do and where my heart and soul kind of stands. Always since I was a kid, been into sort of like the whole Viking Norse mythology and kind of like living off the land and bushcraft and survival and stuff like that. Learned it since I was a little kid. So it's really interesting to have read this. Now, like I say, this is a book and it's a God's Own County. Now, the front cover on this is designed by, sorry, I need my notes because I'm getting old, by Eleanor Rose. And the images inside are from a chap called the Saxon Storyteller, who does all these uh, kind of old style uh, designs and drawings. There you go. Now, the book itself comp comprises of 100 prayers, 6 songs and 10 rituals. And it's 186 pages long. And basically, it's kind of like a prayer book, if you know what I mean. Um, every kind of religion tends to have a bit of a prayer book and stuff like that. And this is one designed for heathens and pagans out there and stuff like that that are into this sort of thing. Um, I'm going to... This is all done by Dan Kultas. Um, sorry, I did get that right. Yeah, Kultas. Uh, didn't want to mispronounce your name. Sorry. Um, but like I say, it's small little prayers, songs, and there's also uh, the rituals in there as well, which is just holding it up so you can read it for a second or you can pause it and just read one out there and it's a really interesting read some of it's a bit over my head if you know what I mean with the words and translations and stuff but 90% of it I got to grips with of what it was saying and it was such an interesting read it's one of those ones that I started reading it and I was kind of like what eh and then the more I got into it and the more I was kind of like getting used to it the more it kind of made sense and each kind of looking into the contents of it this is going to be this is quite a well thumbed 
you've got all the kind of like Norse gods and everything in there in their chapters and the prayers and everything that go with them. So you've got Heindela, Frigg, Freya, Ir, um, Forseti, Freja, Loki, Njord, uh, the Norns, Odin, Sif, Skadi, um, all sorts of different ones, Tyr. And it's a really, really damn good read. And there's a massive introduction on why they've done this. Because basically nothing existed like it. So they started making their own ones up. And the artwork as well is phenomenally good in it. It's really cool. Almost to that point that I've seen quite a few of them. And it was like, yeah, that would make a really damn good tattoo or something like that. But obviously it's copyright material, so I can't. Um, but I'm going to be in touch with, get in touch with the Saxon storyteller to see if he would mind if I used a couple of images to get on tattooed on me for personal, pref uh, for my own personal use, if you know what I mean. Now, this book came through from Amazon Prime. It came through very, very quickly. Um, it was here in around about a week. And the cost of the book itself, 186 pages, is £15. And it's great. It's one of those books that's been on the shelf. And I've kind of like kept, pull it down, have a look through it, have a read through it and stuff. And it's very, very interesting. Sort of like all sorts of problems and stuff that you're having in life and difficulties and stuff. You can use the prayers in there and you can use the rituals and stuff like that. Just something. That's a really good old design. Um... And I can't get over it. It's just, I know I've read a lot online about um, Norse mythology and everything like that and all the gods and everything, but I've never kind of read what I would class as a book on it. Um, and this is the first sort of Norse Viking heathen book that I've read. And it is a damn good read. Um, a prayer book for heathens everywhere to use uh, to honour the gods, white and ancestors, either alone or as part of a group with over a hundred prayers, six songs and ten complete rituals written by members of the heathens of Yorkshire, including Dan Cortas, Alder Bjork, um, Olaf Stotter, uh, Adrian Spendlo and Keith Leggett and fully illustrated by Matt Greenway and Thea Wilby. So it's a really nice book. This one is a first edition printed in... 2019 but it is a really good read and if you're into that whole heathen pagan norse uh viking thing then this is going to be a great read it's a nice little coffee table book as well only comes in the paperback at the moment but it is damn good you know and it's not a story or anything like that it's just a series of prayers rituals and songs and stuff and i really really like it because I'm starting to make my own little altar as well. I've got my centre piece there that was kindly made for me that's going on my altar. Yeah, so I'm getting there and it's, you can hold incense in it and put everything around. So I'm getting there very slowly with it. But it's a stunning book and I am going to be putting links down below. So please give them a follow and a support. Um, all the people that I'm going to list down below, or that I've listed in my Instagram thing that helped to make this um, book because it is a very good read. I would highly recommend it. I'm not going to score it out of 20 because the only thing I only score out of 20 is beard products, skin products and hair products. If somebody else was to write a book like this, you can't compare two books because everyone's got different ideas on how they would do it. If i done it, it'd probably be slightly different to this. So I do not score things like clothing, jewellery and books and stuff like that. It's only the beard skin and hair pots but there you go fantastically designed front cover by Eleanor Rose um, and fantastic bit of writing from Dan Kultas and the heathens and fantastic um, designs pictures inside by the Saxon storyteller so definitely give it a read it's available from Amazon and I'll be putting links down below so go check it out really nice Christmas present birthday present or whatever like that so thank you so much uh, for, for sending that through. It's an immense book. I really, really like it. Can't stay, say that enough. So I hope you've enjoyed that review. Damn good read. Um, I've got plenty more reviews coming up over the next week or so. So stay tuned for that. And like I say, um, I've got this big unboxing and giveaway to do at the end of June. So 
please subscribe to that to be in with a chance of winning that. Um, a couple of brands have been send, uh, sending some stuff through for that as well. So I'll be giving them a shout out during the actual live review and everything. But thank you guys. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. Keep on taking care of each other. Keep on looking after each other. Keep on supporting each other. Keep on loving each other and helping each other. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next review from the Bitty Berserker. Have a great evening and weekend, guys. Thank you for your time.